Welcome, everyone. I'm going to tell you the who, what, why, how of Christmas. Are we having a story? I love stories. Yes, I'm telling the Christmas story from the very start. In the beginning, God made everything. He made the land and the seas, the stars and the sky. He made the fish, the birds, the animals and... What? Did he make sloths? Yes, even sloths. <laughs> but who are you? I'm Tom. Hello, Tom. I'm the narrator. I'm telling the story of Christmas. Oh, no. I've heard that one before. I love Christmas, but the story needs to start once upon a time. But that's how fairy tales start, Abby. This is a true story about things that really happened. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. God made everything. And it was good. And God loved it. He loved being with us and giving us everything we needed. God told us what to do to be happy. But something went wrong. Oh no, why? People didn't do what God told them to. And more and more people didn't. They wanted to decide things, not God. I like to decide things. Yes, we all do. But we all get things wrong. Hello, I'm Grace. God doesn't get things wrong. No, but we didn't listen to God and our wrong things blocked us from him. And things got worse. I'm Josh. Cool. An awesome dark force field blocking the light. There was confusion, sickness and fighting. How do we make it better? We have to let God help us. Who's God? God is the one who made everything and the only one who can save us. He promised to send a king to rescue us. God had a plan. Like a superhero? Punching through the dark force field? Yes, sort of. That's cool. He makes sloths and destroys evil. Well, yes. So what did he do? God waited. We waited. I hate waiting. How lame. This would make a terrible movie. When the time was right, God moved. God came down to save us. Superhero ready for action. God sent an angel named Gabriel to a town called Nazareth. That's a real place in Israel. Yes, Grace, it's a real place because this is a real story. Gabriel went to the house where a young woman called Mary lived. Angels are cute. We put one on our Christmas tree. Real angels aren't cute, Abby. They look more like this. Now we're talking. Awesome. Angels are mighty warriors and God's messengers. Gabriel had a message for Mary about God's plan. God had chosen her to have a baby. My mum's having a baby. It's exciting, isn't it? And Mary's baby would be a super special baby. He would be God's son and a king to save the world. Mary didn't understand all of God's plan, but she trusted God, so she said yes. Gabriel said the baby would be called... Jesus! Jesus. 